Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Abracadabra! <laughs> what? How did he do that? <laughs> it's just a scam. It's obvious. A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists. My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything. Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. He must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut eye. Abra Cadabra. <sighs> Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true the picture does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're gonna make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure, with pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. <laughs> if we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. <laughs> hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stones so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> we can make our flute from this. Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living room, huh? Oh. <laughs> Wash, how are we going to find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. 
If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course. Anything you want. We have a fox in the house. Amazing! Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is gonna be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flirt is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! <gasps> Whoa! What in the world is that? It's a magic flute, Play-Doh. Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah! <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> oh! no! A, a bar! What happened, Wash? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. <laughs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> that stuff sure smells weird. And what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Yeah, of course. Anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that boy. Shit, it does the same thing when I blow. Why haven't they been magic like with Wash's flu? Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic, you too! <laughs> huh? Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Were we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. In the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> ah! <gasps> It's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> it really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? <sighs> hey, do you think this flute works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works! Here! Our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Hey! Wait for me! <laughs> 
Get your earmuffs on, Sam. Shh, you're gonna wake up the guard. Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down. I know, it's because he wants to play. Come on, boy, punch! Here, that got him. So, but... I think tanks are in order. Wild animals in my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here. Five, four, three... The costumes, Wash! After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Stop! Wouldn't you rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... Okay, I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah. We're home. Oh. The Living Stones, they probably brought back food. Mm -hmm. Look at what we brought back for you. One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? <laughs> You can't eat! They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look! <laughs> well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Ta ha There it is! Wash? <laughs> sure, it's you, Wash. <laughs> I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. <laughs> you don't recognize me? It's Magnus! <gasps> hey, Magnus, of course! <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Look, shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. 
Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is wash acting weird to you? Mm -hmm. uh, how does wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus, are you crazy? is a wild guy, 100%. The Living Stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. You're right. We've got to help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop, are you crazy? That's my bowl! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hilarious. Go it again. Meow, meow. Gee, my kibble. Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? Oh, it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? That's a uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch. It's her cushion. Okay, okay. Quick the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna ah! Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. Hey, Wash, you there? Over here! Mm -hmm. I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> uh yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No. <laughs> is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the master. Oh. <laughs> This is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think 
Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> you haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wash, you gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see they're the fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there. No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's right, you big cheat! Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus! I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream. Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. <laughs> Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, <laughs> that's the Washington <laughs> we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> my turn, my turn. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. So, what's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute. I've nearly finished. Here we go. System activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea. But I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System. Your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served! No! Oh. Wow! Ah. Ah. And you haven't seen nothing yet! Oh. 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 This is incredible! Yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch! 
don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <sighs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys. I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature scape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? Oh. <laughs> 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 ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> Uh, sorry. Yeah! I'm not sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Hey, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. No need. I got it covered. It's okay! I found it! Tropical scape activated! Wow! Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit! I'll sort this out in no time! How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. You think my costume's melting, Wash? <laughs> Our toxic matter detected. Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five. Four, three, quarantine complete. Uh oh, quick, hide! Oh, what was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Uh oh, come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh, I think we got a tiny problem. Do you know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no. No costumes, no kibble. <laughs> My turn! Oh. Why didn't we press the big green button again? <coughs> Stop. You'll wake up the whole neighborhood. <laughs> but what are we going to do? Breathe deeply. Everything is going to be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are going to get on great. Hi, Mirage. I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. But you're going to open up? You disconnected. I'm going to jump. It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on, nearly there.
the house. It's Susie. Susie? Yeah, she's gone inside. She has? Yeah, she went into the piping system. She was meant to press the big button, switch off the smart house, and let us back in, but... Great idea! So, why hasn't she done it? System meltdown! System meltdown! System meltdown! Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Uh. I can't see Susie. We have to get inside that house. But where's Sam? Yellow? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two... Wait, wait. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. went crazy. Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified. For sure. I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week. Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that uh, then? Um... <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. How we doing, girls? Still eight minutes and 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks, we get it. It's just taking so long. You, lots of action. It's a spence. Yeah, right, there's no mystery here. They're just doing spring cleaning. Except it's summer. Our 
dear owners have simply lost something. They destroy everything in the house whenever something goes missing. They are the wild ones. The last time it was our car keys. Another time it was a tennis racket. The worst of all was the soda bottle opener. They went out of their minds. My beautiful wedding ring. What did I tell you? It's so, so precious to me. And besides, it was my grandmother's. <laughs> I just don't understand. Whenever I'm not wearing it, I always put it there. Okay, let's attack the rest of the house. You want me to use the sledgehammer this time or the wallpaper remover? Ah, the sledgehammer! I was just thinking, what if one of our darling animals swallowed it by mistake? Well, listen, if we don't turn up anything in the house, then we'll go straight to the vet for the x-rays. Did you hear what they said? Yes, they're finally gone. We've got the TV on to ourselves! <laughs> okay, guys, let's all be totally honest about this. Did one of you swallow that ring? Victoria. Mm. Oh, please. If I had swallowed it, I would have spit it out immediately. And believe me, I can tell the difference between a hairball and a ring. Eugenie? Impossible. My metabolism would never allow me to digest gold that is not 100% 24 carat. I admit it. I tried to once, but it got stuck in my beak. Who says it wasn't you, Washington? After all, it's easy to accuse others. Who swallowed the ring? Not to mention the remote control. No! We've got to find a solution before the Living Stones return. Yeah, what you really have to do is find a way to get the remote control before my soap begins. Otherwise, it's me who's going to be sending you back to the forest. The cake is ready! Magnificent. Right, we're going to have to wait until it's cooled down. Listen, I've given it some thought. We'll look in the yard, but if we don't find it there, we're going to the vets. A simple x-ray and we'll know if it's in one of their stomachs. It's a catastrophe. What's an x-ray, Wash? It's a thing that allows you to see everywhere, see through everything, and guess what they're gonna see in us? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> okay, little hint. It's made of metal and it goes up and down. In the elevator? Hmm. Oh, our zippers! Yes! Faster! Up, faster! Up, down, up, down! Come on! Spit! Are you gonna spit out that ring or what? Hmm. <gasps> Watch out! She's looking this way! <laughs> We're gonna have to find another way. <laughs> so, Sam, is it coming or what? Did you get the ring, did ya? Look, my favorite toy. It's amazing. I was sure it was lost forever. <gasps> Hit, expel. 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 <laughs> 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 You got the ring! Uh, no. On the other hand, Susie knows exactly where the remote control is. <laughs> Yippee! I'm going to be able to watch my soap now. I still don't think you get it. If we don't find that ring right this second, we're all goners! Hey there, gang. What do you say to a little outing right about now? <laughs> I hate you all. X-rays, zippers, we may as well head straight for the forest right now, guys. No, I haven't said my last word yet. But I hope your stomach is up to this, Sam. <laughs> Everything okay in there, Susie? Affirmative, Washington, but it's totally pitch black in here. Good luck, little one. Huh? Wow! Did you find the ring? No! It's not going to be easy. You wouldn't believe the junkyard in Sam's stomach. You uh, will what? Awesome. Huh? Oh, that's so beautiful. 
Where's that music coming from? Did you just turn the radio on, honey? Mm -mm. Susie, this is no time to play piano. The ring! All right, oops, I'll continue looking. <laughs> We're here, Susie, quick, hurry up. Well, it's make or break now, guys. Uh, you're here for x-rays, uh, but that, uh, uh, that's not possible. <laughs> you have to make an appointment at least 48 hours in advance and put them on a very specific diet. What in the world are you talking about, Vladimir? Shh. You know very well that I hate the x-ray machine. It scares me. And besides, I am, uh, extremely busy. There is no way I can see so many patients right now. In fact, I'm full up. But... There's nobody but us here. I must absolutely get my ring back! My precious <laughs> ring! Do you understand? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, very well then. Uh, no problem. <laughs> what I should do is go verify the instructions manual. Oh, uh, what I mean is, uh, Velma, will you please fill out the four admissions forms? Four? One, two, three, four, and... But... But Susie, she's missing. Oh. Can we leave them with you? We have to go back and get Susie, our canary. Come on, Vladimir. Uh. Let's go set up the x-ray machine. Uh. Uh. And now we have to get x-rayed? You guys sure have given me the royal treatment. <laughs> uh -huh. So? Nothing. It would take a lifetime to sort out everything in Sam's stomach. Yeah. Hey, no one has ever complained about my internal disorder before. And it was already pretty nice of me to let you go rummaging around. Yeah, sorry, Sam, it's true. But you really do eat a lot. You're right. And it's pretty easy to swallow a ring. Anybody could, especially without even knowing it. Ah, great. Right. So, uh, I guess I'll be getting back to the mines. Yeah. My little Susie, perfect. I'll just call your owners and let them know while the vet runs you through the x-ray machine. Hi. You are going to climb up there and stand behind the screen while I take your x-rays. And we will immediately be able to see everything you are hiding. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Velma? <laughs> Which button is it again that uh, turns on the machine? The big red button. And the light regulator? Well, you have to place the cursor on zero to turn it on. And then you increase the brightness little by little while turning the little knob on the left in order to sharpen the contrast. Vic, quick, mm -hmm. distract the vet. That way, we'll be able to quickly take off our costumes and we'll put them back on when we step out of the machine. And what's in it for me? Our kibble for the whole week? The pillow next to the radiator? Massages? You get to watch your favorite series on TV every single day. It's a deal. Hmm, weird. Velma? Now! Come on now, Vladimir. I've already shown you a thousand times. There, it's ready. Hmm, no sign of a ring. On the other hand, I'm going to have to prescribe a serious cure for the fat cat so we can get rid of all that junk. Hmm, what do you mean, fat? Way to go, Vladimir. Excellent analysis. I'm very proud of you. Come on now. Quit pretending to be shy. Come out from behind there. So? Uh, did you find my ring? She's back! No sign of a ring. Too bad. Here. I wanted to apologize for having lost my cool earlier, so I baked you a cake. My cake! Huh? Oh, how sweet of you. Uh, <laughs> wow! Your ring was there in the cake all along. Perfect. Now, 
Do you mind turning up the volume, Susie? Veronica, I have a confession to make. I love you. <sighs> Dr. Alessandro, why, I love you too. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! So, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. Huh? Oh. Oh. Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? This awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Living Stones. Nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected yeah. by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bastet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! 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 What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam! You're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. Mm -hmm. I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Gosh, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop! It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> And what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? Tag, Sam! Oh, 
okay, but under one condition. We play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! 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 Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No. How about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestor, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The secret cat he was, he left even the dogs in awe. Left even the dogs in awe? Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the Second. Glory be to Samses the Second, goddess of the heavens. Wash, Samses the Second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Yeah? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this will have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsies, too, is in no way related to a disgusting creature. <laughs> Saying such a thing in front of your very own sister is terrible! <laughs> you alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Uh. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, 
There's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? Here. Here. Hmm. <laughs> Mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! I'm just in front of the Millwire board! Not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah! Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room! Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. You see, honey, I was right. They were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys. You can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. Yay! And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But... Extra light kibble! I can't believe it! The Livingstones made a mistake! Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to go to Bebop Bunny for a free beauty kit. Pretty obvious, no? Sorry, we're super busy. We're onto something absolutely awesome here. Racing at top speed, the black slug can cover more than two centimeters an hour. We wanna go! We wanna go! We wanna go! Sure, promise. Tomorrow. No! <laughs> Today! Uh? Uh, mm -mm. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Da! It's a bunny mobile! A self driving car to go to the Bebop Bunny Baron! A state of the art self driving car? Uh, Wash, we're actually kind of busy, huh? And besides, must I remind you that cars are reserved for humans only? Come on, cool it, Sam. I just want to have a look. I wasn't going to drive it. <sighs> Relax. The Living Stones are gone for the day, and when we get back, the race will only be half over. Sorry, if I say yes, then I'll lose all credibility around here. So the answer's no. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Ah, 
I can't see anything through this tinted glass. Welcome aboard the Bunny Mobile. Passengers, please get in. Wow! It's so beautiful! During your trip, enjoy all the comfort of the Bunny Mobile. Automatic pilot with GPS, speed regulator, soft drink dispenser, and free call at 011-989-9988199999199-7253 in case of emergency. Destination, Bebop Bunny. Stop the car! No! We're gonna get cut! Oh, come on, Sam! Don't worry! The windows are tinted, so there's no risk! Uh-oh! Are you sure we're okay? I get this feeling we've been spotted! Emergency <laughs> <laughs> on the corner of Lafayette and Washington. There's an alligator in a tree! You see? I told you we had nothing to fear. In order to access your relaxation options, punch in the bunny button. Option one, massage. Option two, music. Option three, carrot juice. Yeah, gosh, this is too awesome. Do you think they also make kitty mobiles? When are we gonna get there? We're not even moving. But we are moving. It's just that the technology in these cars is so sophisticated that you don't even notice you're driving when in fact you're actually speeding down the road. Mm -hmm. Oh, because like right now we're speeding, huh? Are, Are we, we there, there yet? yet? Hurry up! This is taking so long! All right already, girls, I'll speed up. All you had to do was ask. Newsflash, the Bunny Store Fair is a whopping success and their beauty kits are going like hotcakes. Hurry up if you want to get your hands on one. They won't last long. Oh, no! My beauty kit! Wash! Hurry up! Please, please, please! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, everything's under control. Don't panic. Situation's under control. Turn this thing off! An alligator in a tree? What'll they come up with next? Uh-oh, the animal pound. Yeah, well, with the tinted glass windows, we're cool. Oh, yeah? And you think that works when they're open, too? Acceleration activated. Let's go. Forget the alligator. Uh, kid, this is your chance. We're counting on you. Ah, uh, they're not following us anymore. Well, of course not. They're the animal pound, not the police. You have reached your final destination. We'll wait for you in the car, girls. Don't take too long, OK? <laughs> What did I say, huh? It was all just child's play. Yeah. Found! Start! Error. You have reached your final destination. Activate bunny control to enter a new destination. Oh, Automatic oh remote control deactivated. Manual drive is activated. The super duper tunnel slide has just opened. Come and get your fill up. Shall we go? It looks awesome! Do you think we've got time? Sam said we should hurry up. Yeah, all right. He's probably getting a massage in the bunny mobile right now. I bet he's in seventh heaven. Oh, wash! Speed up! They're right behind us! Gone. We're safe! Yeah, Wash, you can slow down. They're gone! I'd like to, except I get the feeling that the accelerator's like, uh, stuck! <laughs> uh, Sam, don't touch anything. This is no time to slow down. <laughs> Are we going 
going to pick up Eugenie and Susie without getting caught. Call the emergency number. I think now's the time. Oh, yeah, good idea. But, uh, what was the number again? After 999881999, is it a one or a nine? Do you think Sam and Wash are going to jail? Oh, but the close call. I really like his daredevil style. He's totally oh. fearless. Reminds me of the blind bird Joe. That's my buddy Washington driving the bunny mobile. Think you could help him ditch the guys following them? An awesome driver like him. Well, that would be an honor. Flight formation! <laughs> Open fire! Center, how can I be of assistance to you? Hey, it works! Uh, can you tell me why we're calling them again? Drop it! Everything's cool! I ditched them! Oh! Oh no! I just realized! How are we going to get to the girls? Battery dead. Please recharge battery. I repeat, please <laughs> Did you just touch something? Charge. <laughs> ba -der Do you know where we are, Sam? No idea. Even when I was little, I couldn't find my way home from one mud puddle to the next. So just imagine here. Are you serious? <laughs> you don't even know where you are. Our house is right over there. Here's Eugenie. Susie. Of course we knew where we were. We were just waiting for you. So, shall we go home? Yeah. We're filthy. If the Livingstones see us like this, they're going to want to give us a bath, and then they'll see our costumes and... I knew we should have stayed in front of the TV. Drat, you're right. Hey! How did you do it? What? Get clean? Check it out! Big Bop Bunny All-Purpose Cleaner! <laughs> wow! That works! Awesome! Thank you, girls! <laughs> You see, Sam, I told you we'd be back in time for the end of the race. Yeah, but now that we missed everything in the middle, I can't figure out what's going on. Uh, your snail race totally stinks. Bebop Bunny's way better. Hey, darlings, we've got a surprise for you. We're taking you to the Bebop Bunny Fair. Yay! <laughs> you agree? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental Hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Welcome to my new edition of Kibble Run. Open to all the animals in disguise on the block. The first one will win the Kibble Cup. Yay! <laughs> and may the best beast win. Okay, guys. Good one, Sam. You almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> oh, 
a real cat. Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in disguise. <laughs> what is that thing? Wow! Catnip! <laughs> Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you disgusting warthog, you. What's going into him? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look! You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're going to have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a... Oh, I love this series. <laughs> Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boy. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. Ah! You're sick. Sam? You're not a cat. You're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest. <laughs> What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them for yourself! This isn't going to be easy. No. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? <laughs> Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Oh, huh? Will you knock it? Mm. Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously? Cool! Thanks, Victoria! Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad at all. You think there are any left? Don't move, I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course! That's it! Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Mm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, mm -hmm. mind coming over here for a sec? Just a minute, girls. 
Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You gotta come home right this second. Buzz off, stinking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. They're killing me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. So we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From <laughs> where? The forest? You're wild? <laughs> no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! no not the, the forest! forest not, not the forest! All right, I'll help you. <laughs> Calm down now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha. Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're going to reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer dive, Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? Ta -da! Ah! It's even worse than I thought! I'm gonna go save the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've gotta stop him! The dragon! Oh, the little doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! <laughs> yeah? Where'd he go? We really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. No, we've still got a chance. Yeah. is back. Hey. Hurry up, he's super heavy! Sam, look in the mirror! Here I am, girls! Well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar, a wild yeah? boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop. Mm -hmm. We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share. Share it, share it, share it. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry, it's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> there you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens, I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow. Just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey! That looks like Alvarez! <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Uh. No, 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 no. I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room. Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready. Quick Wash, they're here! Be extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh huh? Uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world? 
world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's our lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> get him, Alvy! We're going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, Sir Fox Hunting Hound Dog? <laughs> P.U. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh. But then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, brother! Quick, the garbage can! We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him! That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey? That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. So how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. 
Alvarez? All right, how was that? You happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. There he is! <laughs> yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hunter Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap. Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest. And also the strong. Uh, uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> Wait, that's nothing. This time, the pyramid! <laughs> we look so well rehearsed. Great trick and a treat. Easy. They remember everything. But you should see Washington do this. He's by far the best of the four of them. Hey, what about me? Say, where is Washington? <sighs> oh. I answer number three, a cup of hot chocolate. Ah, oh, my little wash. Uh? Time for the quick fire question round. What insect produces honey? One, flies, two, bees, three, ants. Did you see that? Yeah, it's crazy the show's still going. That presenter must be 150 years old by now, at least. Look at Washington. He's answering the questions. Look at his tail. Who invented the famous formula E equals MC squared? One, Einstein, two, Heidi, three, Eisenhower. <gasps> wow! Our dog is a genius! I found my special edition of the best Quizmaster questions ever. So, how long is an Olympic swimming pool? One, 50 meters. Two, 164 feet. Three, 5,000 centimeters. What are they doing to me? Don't worry, same game, different day. Do what they want and the kibble is yours. <laughs> Oh, huh? no. For a moment, he was amazing. Now he's getting the answers all wrong. Not at all, honey. He sidestepped their trap. All three answers were correct. Well done, Washington. Incredible. Ah. Oh. What a clever boy you are, Wash. How come you know all that? TV. He loves the documentary and education channel. This is not looking good. Aren't you the one who always says you've got to keep your heads down, not draw attention to the animal inside? Of course not. It's just a harmless little game. How's it going to draw attention to us? That's mm -hmm. right. I want to sign my dog up for the Quiz Master Challenge. His name's Washington. W-A-S-H-I-N-G-T-O-N. <laughs> gonna be full of himself. And today's show, we have a very special contestant, Washington the dog. Let me remind everybody of today's special rules adapted for our new furry 
primary competitor. Washington will answer questions by wagging his tail one, two, or three times. And we're off. Washington, who is Sherlock Holmes' companion? One, Dr. Radcliffe. Two, Dr. Watson. Three, Dr. Gru. Next question, which pyramid is the biggest? One, the Pyramid of Medum. Two, the Pyramid of Calf. Three, the Pyramid of Chaos. Come on, come on, come on. The score is going through the roof. We have a winner. <laughs> this is incredible. Meet Washington the Wonder Dog with a wonder brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this dog has just broken the show's record. <laughs> wow. I have to admit, we did good. The next stage will be the grand finale against the grand quiz master champion of all time. Mr. Pullface, who will be the winner? Come what may, it promises to be a phenomenal battle. That's right, the grand finale is tomorrow morning. We're very confident, aren't we, Wash? Well done, Wash. I've always said that dog is as cunning as a fox. Isn't he laying it on a bit thick? <laughs> You can say that again. And he's getting all that kibble and not sharing a single one. So, Vic, gonna congratulate me? I had it all under control and incognito. <laughs> uh, Mr. Livingstone, Washington's rival in the final, Mr. Pofe says the show's been rigged. What do you have to say to his accusations? What? Take a look for yourself. The whole thing's a masquerade, and I'm going to prove it. In the freak event that silly hound does beat me, I have the organizer's permission to get its so-called intelligence tested live and direct by the renowned vet, Vladimir Vedovic. Wash would be delighted to cooperate. Tests, after all, are his specialty. Personally, I can't wait to find out Wash's IQ. The sky's the limit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. Now this is getting interesting. What does he mean, silly hound? Me and my so-called intelligence are deeply hurt. If I understand correctly, if you do win this final wash, you're gonna be probed and examined from every angle. And us wild guys, we're not so fond of that idea. Good heavens. This here is no wonder, dog. It is a fox. Oh, no! <laughs> you gotta stop being so intelligent, Wash. Huh? Listen, Wash, it's simple. You have to lose. Yes, or else it's straight back to the forest for us all. Farewell, glory. Farewell, intelligence. The world will have to be deprived of my prodigious talent. So tell me, what do I have to do to be dumb? Hmm? Sam, Eugenie, Susie, Vic, any idea? Count me out. Mm -hmm. Is it that hard to try to get the answers wrong deliberately? Right, I'll try a different question. This time, it's really easy. Remember, Wash, you have to get it wrong, okay? Wash, how many dwarves live with Snow White? Seven. <laughs> no, I just can't help it. Wash, you're too intelligent for your own good. We don't have a choice. It's time to become genuinely stupid. Hmm, that's given me a brilliant idea. What we could do... Stop with your brilliant ideas. Why don't you think like me? It's really easy. All I do is don't think. I never thought I'd say this, but Wash's intelligence is going to be our downfall. Super sour candy stings my tongue so much my brain shuts down. So, Wash, has it worked? No, it just stings like uh, crazy. How they do it? Oh, yeah, uh, yes, I do. It's the tartaric acid they use, isn't it? Tartamic what? Uh... <laughs> Now we're gonna brainwash you and replace your knowledge with completely useless information. Uh, what do you see here? Uh, uh, yeah, a car? No, it's a flower. A flower that looks like a car? Let's start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? A postage stamp. Hooray! Hooray! Wash is an imbecile! Good day to you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this historic program, Washington versus Mr. Poveys. I'm scared. Don't worry, it'll all go super well. Go on, Washington, give it your best shot. I mean, you wish it! Washington will get the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. 
Who painted the Mona Lisa? One, Leonardo da Vinci. Two, Leonardo DiCaprio. Three, Leonard the Lion. Uh, hmm? Wow, Leonardo da Vinci. He totally got that wrong. Uh, not that wrong, in fact. It's pretty right. Three, the Mississippi. Zero errors. Your opponent has his work cut out for him. And here he is. It's time for Mr. Poface. Wasn't the plan to get the answers wrong? The device scans animals and searches their brain, seeking out every scrap of information inside. Nothing escapes detection. Well done, Mr. Poface. Another flawless round. You might not have been as quick fire as your opponent, but only the score counts. We'll be right back after this short commercial break. I don't know what's going on. I can see the wrong answer, but my tail won't respond. It's like it has an intelligence of its own. Time for the big decider. Get ready, competitors. Here we go. Can you tell me the exact number of teeth to be found in the mouth of the Volupus Volupus, a.k.a. the Red Fox? <laughs> 29, 30, 31. Uh, uh, 34. Uh, <laughs> 42. Washington, that is incredible. <laughs> Time to drop the act. Stop this masquerade. I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this. Well, just how does this work? Oh, well, I guess it's plugged in. Should we be worried that they're not his real ears? Shh. This animal is absolutely not gifted in any way. I regret to tell you that there is absolutely zero brain activity zero. present. Huh? It is a mystery how he manages to put one leg in front of the other. As a result, I invalidate the result of this competition. What a phenomenal turnaround! I hereby crown Mr. Poface as our new champion! <laughs> really? Washington isn't gifted after all? You know, we are dealing with statistics. Global warming, in my opinion. Its casualties are simply a coda appendage reflex mm -hmm. reaction. The information transmitted by Washington's eyes, ears, or nose bypasses the brain, and so its flow continues uninterrupted directly to the tail in the form of a jolt of nervous energy, giving rise to erratic movements, which in certain contexts and scenarios may seem to have significance. In a word, his tail probably just wags on its own, and there's nothing he can do about it. For once, the guy is actually right! <laughs> You know, Wash, it doesn't matter if you're intelligent or not. We still love you very much. Yeah, we love you very much, too, even if you are lame. Hmm. Our question of the day, what is the square root of nine? Tweet, tweet, tweet! The right answer is three. <gasps> hey, did you hear that? <laughs> Susie chirped three times. <laughs> Quick, where's my telephone? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. your dreams, guys, but that's not a movie poster. It's a wanted poster. A wanted poster? Huh? A wanted poster? What have you done, Sam? Me? Nothing at all. I've done nothing, I'm telling you. Sam has been naughty, and now there's gonna be trouble. <laughs> oh, no! That must be the dog pound coming to get Sam! <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, hello. I'm Mrs. Itby, Arlette Itby, and I've 
had a call from my veterinarian, Mr. Vetovic, who tells me that my cat Tom is here with you. What's that, Tom? I don't believe we have any Toms here. No, honey, are there any Toms here in this house? Tom, my cat, the one I lost? Incredible. Sam is called Tom. That's crazy. Yes, but it means he's not our Sam. That's incredible. Sam has a boy cat twin. Not a twin. That's a real cat. That just so happens to look exactly like Sam. We had no idea our Sam had another home before coming to us. We're really sorry. We're awfully attached to him. Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Out of the question. That is my cat. He belongs to me and I want him. I want my Tom right this minute. <laughs> so, Sam, you're living a double life, are you? Or should I say a triple life? But it's not him. Tom is a real cat who happens to look like him. That's all. How appalling. Two Sams? How can nature be so cruel? You gotta help us find Tom fast. If our let takes Sam away and realizes he's a wild boar, it'll be a catastrophe for us. Let me think this through. No more Sam. No one making noise during my naps. <gasps> Catastrophe indeed. Listen to your heart, Victoria. Listen to it beating like a butterfly. Your share of kibble plus sand for the next three weeks. My share of kibble in just for one week. You're on. Let's start by going to see Fang. He spends his life outside. If something happened in the neighborhood, he'll know about it. Super. Thanks, Victoria. <laughs> hey, have you seen this cat? Let me think about this. Yes, I have. Right here. <laughs> so what's going on now? Have dogs lost their scent? Can't see behind the tips of their noses? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's so funny, Fang. Uh, but anyway, have you seen him or not? Mm. Okay, that's enough. No more fooling around. I've got other things to do. There's a food thief hanging around the neighborhood. No way am I gonna let that culprit get away. I'm the only one who steals food around here. There he is! He's the one who stole my entire sardine and all of stuff! Yeah. Hand it back right now! Tom's the one you're after. Tom? Who's this Tom? Tom is Sam. Oh. But in fact, not Sam, but Tom who looks like Sam. See what I mean? That's enough! I know what I saw! Beware if I catch you anywhere near my food supply! Oh, oh boy, oh boy! I keep doing stuff I didn't do. This is horrible. Don't worry, Sam. The good thing is that we're on the right track. Apparently, Tom is the one pilfering the neighborhood's food supplies. The problem is you're the one getting the stick. I mean, you're stuck with the blame. Well, whatever. All we have to do now is catch him. Sam, give me a chicken. Me? I don't have a chicken. It's OK, Sam. We all know you always have a chicken on you. But that's absurd. I've never had a chicken. Cut it out, Sam. We're brother and sister. I've known you since the day I was born. Even in the forest, you always managed to hide food on yourself. And actually, we'd like to know how you do that. You guys near the neighborhood? I just turned up and when I heard you talking about chicken, whoa! But this is incredible! Who are you? You could be my twin brother. Look, we've got the same paws. <laughs> yeah, and we've got the same ears. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting your deeply moving encounter, but Tom, your name's Tom, right? Well, Tom, as I was saying, your master is very worried and she's out looking for you everywhere. You gotta go home. Are you kidding? The world is vast and I still have loads of places to explore. This is the first time in my life I've been outside and I'm as hungry as a boar. Yeah? Hey, if you're hungry, Come and have a snack at our place. The Living Stones are really welcoming and open. Oh, yes, come. We'll have a feast. There's loads to eat. Well, of course. I'll tag along. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. The resemblance is so amazing. You didn't say that our let was at your place. <laughs> Apart from one mole, those two are absolutely identical. <laughs> Phew! So our Sam's staying with us. What a relief! Let's celebrate. Here's a treat for all of you. Not you, Tom. You could choke or have an allergic reaction. Whittle Tom doesn't want a dreadful allergy, does he? Just because it's you, <laughs> Sam. This won't last for long. Thank 
you for everything. I'm so happy my little Tom is just fine. Congratulations, your pets are truly adorable. <laughs> Come on, little Tom Tom, <laughs> time to go home. Freedom, comfort, and kibble heaven. All mine. <laughs> Oh, Sam, you ate everything up again? Oops. Mm -hmm. I'll deal with this. Uh, sorry, I thought I'd fed you. We had an agreement. Your share for one week. <laughs> No deck chairs? What's got into him? <laughs> hey! What's different about you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? It's me! Right, I'm Sam! Look at my droopy Sam walk! Oh, I know! <laughs> you cut your whiskers! <laughs> Phew! You've got to eat, Tom Tom. I ground everything up. That way, there's no risk of you choking. <laughs> well done, little Tom Tom. As a reward, I got a surprise for you. Look how beautiful you'll be in this. I'm locking up all the doors and windows. That way, no risk of you wandering outside again. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> Oh, no, Sam, not again. It's cool. I got this. Hey. Oops, I forgot to feed you all again. Sorry. <laughs> Sam, stop <sighs> that. Wait a second, you'll get your kibble. Since when does Sam know how to purr? He's a boar. If Sam is purring, there's only one explanation. He's a cat. Oh, no, Tom took Sam's place. Tom is Sam? I can't believe Tom actually did. We gotta get rid of him before he settles in for good. To do that, we've gotta scare the daylights out of him. You think something can scare him enough to make him? Yes. We remove our costumes. When he sees us as wild beasts, Tom will take off to the end of the world. And who do we have here? Yeah! Great to see you again, Sam. You remember what you owe us, right? Yeah, yeah. going to do with you. Listen, please, you're making a mistake. I'm not Sam. I swear, my name is Tom. That's a lie. We know you're Sam. Who would want to take his place? Yeah, I swear, it's true. It's because of Mrs. R. Let It Be, my master. She never lets me go outside, and I love going outside. Don't hurt me. I'll take you to him. Walk on ahead. We'll follow. <sighs> right here. I beg you, please don't hurt Arlette. She may seem hard, but she's good-hearted. <laughs> you found me! Where are the keys? In her pocket, but I'll try to get them off her. I'll wake her up. Don't move! I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you never have any chicken on you, right, Sam? <laughs> Tom Tom, this time I thought of everything and I installed it. The... Ah, a wolf! Help! A wolf? Help! 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 I thought I was protecting you, when in fact you are the one who protects me. <laughs> We're back together. We're back together. We're back What's all this dancing about? They're together all the time. We're back together. We're back together. <laughs> Looks like everything's sorted out now. And it's thanks to us. Right, Sam? <gasps> Sam, no! Sam, come back! <laughs> Sam! Huh.
Nine. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Chop, chop, hurry on up. It's the neighborhood swap arama Drop on by, shop and swap. Exchange and change. This swap arama shenanigan is a pain. They've taken over our yard. Chill out, Bush. Look up at the sky and smile. Sam, there's no way we're going to tan. We're wearing costumes. Wow, there's a really pretty scarf and a really pretty yellow hat and some really lame knit hats. Huh? Look over there. Those specks are something else. Look like laser specks, like in the dog from outer space, that movie we saw yesterday. Hmm. I think they look more like the super specks in the royal chicken commercial. The ones that detect roast chicken. Yeah! Chicken! Hey guys, look! Cool. If Mr. L takes them, we'll get to try them out. And they'll reveal the location of hundreds of roast chickens. Let's go! I don't believe it. It's the supervision specs. Uh, uh, uh. What have you got to give me in exchange? Uh, well, how about this? A magnificent hedgehog key ring. Yeah, but lame. I'm keeping my specs. Don't move. I'll be right back. Drat and double drat. We'll never get to find out if they're laser specs Roast chicken specs. They're roast chicken specs. It's obvious. Phooey. They're laser specs, Sam. Want to bet? We can't just let it drop. We've got to find out who's right. Stay here, guys. Come on, Eugenie. I have an idea. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, Eugenie! Uh, you okay? Mr. Vetzer, Eugenie is passed out. Come quick. I don't believe it. Why do people always hassle me when their pet is sick? I hope someday someone gives me a good explanation. <laughs> good job, girls. Ready to lose the bet, Sam? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Me first! Shoot! There are no roast chickens in the yard. Face up to it, Sam. You lost the bet. I told you they were laser specs, but give them here. Hang on. These aren't laser specs. They're specs that warp reality. Incredible! Did you see Sam? Hmm. Yeah? Did I see what? Uh-oh. Vitamin deficiency, probably. A little injection of carrot juice in the ears. That should do the trick. And soon she'll be bouncing like a kangaroo again. Yeah! Hmm. Anybody want some? It's me all along. But seeing as there are no roast chickens hiding in the yard, Wash says we both lost. Don't look so sad. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. No, it's a catastrophe. What these specs do is show us without our disguises. What? What? Get your paws off. You'll give them fleas. <laughs> Vladimir, I have an offer you cannot refuse. I will exchange for your specs for, wait for it, wait for it, this. Hmm. hmm, not bad. It reminds me of the work of a lesser known 20th century French master who specialized in ducks. What do you think? I'll take it, but only if the kitten has a clean bill of health. If the vet gives up the specs, Mr. L will see us as the wild animals we really are. No, oh, no! I can't go back to the forest. Wash, do something! Mom, Mom, I want the sunglasses! All is not lost. Eugenie, it's showtime. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Vet, <laughs> come quick! Look a bit pale, 
deal, don't you think? But it seems healthy to me. It's a deal. <laughs> They're all yours. Oh. Whoa! Do you realize, Honey Buns? I now possess the vet's supervision specs. It's all I needed to complete my collection. Yeehaw! <laughs> Come on, we gotta get rid of these. Alfie, can't you see? There are absolutely no sunglasses here. What's the point in telling lies? Now keep quiet and stay out of mischief. <laughs> Humans are so easy to fool. It's almost too easy for a fox. <laughs> My sunglasses! <laughs> you naughty dog! So, what do you think we could do to get rid of those, Wash? We're gonna bury them, Susie. Yeah? No, not the rose chicken specks. Why can't we keep them for us? But, Sam, those specks do not detect roast. Naughty doggy doggy, give me my sunglasses! Sam, eat! I want my specks! <laughs> Super villains, beware! Supervision is on his way! Ouch! What is this, Flim Flam? You can't see anything with these specs. Uh. <laughs> Stop right there, sweetie pie! Look at the pretty buds I found for you! Watch out! The blue cat is a wild boar! <laughs> the youth of today, they have such wild imagination. Huh? Hmm. But, 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 why are you all wearing underpants? Stop! That's enough now, Alfie! Stop trying to show off! <laughs> wild animals, now we've heard it all. You be good, my honey pies. Phew, he really had a sweating there. If we're sweating, it's because of Mrs. Livingstone's knit hats. The wool plus her costumes plus today's magnificent sunshine, it's no surprise we're sweating. This is outrageous. These glasses are fake. You can't see a thing. Where are the real ones? Quick, activate emergency plan. Your child is simply delirious. Those specs should never be worn without the costume. They are far too powerful. He could start hallucinating all kinds of stuff. This pair is totally safe for you to wear. Oh, that's <laughs> what it was. Thank you, Mr. Livingstone. Oh, dear. Hmm, I'd better go test them out indoors instead. I have something to confess to you, Alexandra. He's going to see us, Wash! He's going to see us! Not if we're faster than he is. <laughs> Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! Phew! <laughs> it's you, Vic! Wow, these specs sure do work good. And now, where have my supervillains got to? Wait up, supervillains! I want to inspect you with my supervision specs! This family is really getting worse and worse. You're not transparent, you know. I love you, Alexandra. Please kiss me. Alexandra, where are you? Uh, oh. What? No, I don't believe it. Not the old power cut trick. I know. We'll do it like on the TV. We'll stop supervision from seeing us and grab the super specs from him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you, my little super villains. I've got to talk to you, sweetheart. It's about our darling pets. Supervision at your service. One minute. Aha! I know where my supervillains are hiding. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Now! 
Faster than soup. That's <laughs> enough, honey! Don't you realize you're terrifying our little darlings with your silly spectacles? Uh, really? Of course! They don't recognize you with your specs and costume. Oh no! I'm sorry, sweetie pies. I'm gonna throw these naughty spectacles in the garbage. Come on, come here. I'll give you a super hug! <laughs> 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 Wait! What if someone finds the super specs in the garbage? Who do that? Only wild animals go rummaging through trash cans. And seeing as there are none around. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Sam. Hmm, roast chickens, here I come. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody, it's time for Singing, singing in the, in the shower. shower! The show that gets your morning rocking! And with no further ado, let's welcome Josephine, who's going to sing her latest hit live from her bathroom! Wouldn't it drain all your brain cells to let some of us sleep? When you don't know how to sing, you keep quiet, okay? First of all, we know how to sing! That's what you think. I happen to have perfect ears, and I can tell you that you guys sing like a bunch of elephants. Huh? What's so special about your ear? My ear is perfect. That means I know when you're singing on key or off, and you guys are off, way, way, way off, and too loud, so. Hey, cut it out, Vic. They're allowed to have fun. Sure, in total silence. Keep it up, girls, and pretty soon it's you who will be on TV. <laughs> Sorry? It means good morning in dolphin. Ah, your new learn while you sleep method. Is it really working? Like a charm, as you can see. Thank you, Washington. Good dog. <laughs> oh, honey, look at this. Why don't we sign Susie up? Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls, girls, stop! Susie, the Living Stones want to sign you up for a singing canary contest. <laughs> Are you nuts? Susie, if you sing, the Living Stones will find out that you're not a real canary, which means a one-way ticket back to the forest! Huh? Why wouldn't I be able to sing like a canary, huh? Uh, because you're a blackbird? Susie, Maybe. what would you say to a little musical rehearsal, huh? I'd like to find out if you're good enough to enter a contest. I'm going to play you a little number on the flute, and then I want you to repeat it as faithfully as possible. Your turn, Susie. Oh, what is this horror show? What in the world is this circus? Mr. Livingstone is quickly understanding that Susie doesn't sing like a canary. So, in two minutes tops, we'll all be found out and sent packing into the forest. Any other questions? What singing? What a voice! Why, Susie, that's marvelous! And it's not like I'm surrounded by a bunch of winners, either. In Dolphin, breakfast is cold. 
Honey, can I borrow your tablet? Susie turns out to be a diva of a singer. It would be a shame not to enter her in the contest. But of course, honey. I always knew Susie was talented. <laughs> what do you think Vic meant when she said she wasn't surrounded by a bunch of winners? Nothing. That's just Vic. You know how she is. What's important is that Mr. Livingstone is persuaded now that Susie is a real canary and we can hang out and tranquilly watch TV. Before our live broadcast of the world famous canary singing contest, we've got an exclusive interview of the president of the jury who has kindly opened his home to us. How about a word of advice to all the canaries watching us who have entered tomorrow's contest? Well, practice like your life depended on it. And don't cheat. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. And every bird that's ever... We've got to find a way to stop your taking part in this contest, Susie. It's way too risky. But I want to enter the contest! Susie, Mr. Snobby Nose is not like Mr. Livingstone. He's an expert. He'll find out right from the first note that you're not a real canary. You don't understand. When I was little, everyone made fun of me. In fact, I'm gonna be your personal trainer. Sam, that's super nice of you, but I'm not sure that a wild boar cat is the best person to teach a blackbird how to sing like a canary. I've got a better idea. By listening to a canary while you're asleep, your subconscious will learn how to sing. And tomorrow for the contest, you'll be brilliant. Just like Mrs. Livingstone and her dolphins. Honey, you wouldn't have seen my headphones and tablet by any chance? And, uh, a canary? No, that's a lion. Huh? I can't believe it, Wash. Please don't tell me you forgot to put that canary video on repeat play. Yeah, uh, uh, no, I mean, I, I don't know. Why? Because there were other videos streaming after that. And so Susie has memorized every single animal sound except the one we're interested in. Way to go, Mr. Brain Surgeon. Oh, hey, no problem. All we have to do is put the canary video back on. Hmm? Oh, no. I don't believe it. Don't worry, Wash. Maybe we could just go to Mr. Snobby Nose. Oh, yeah, of course. So we can tell him to his face that Susie's not a real canary, give him our costumes, and then head back to the forest? Got any other brilliant ideas, Sam? Uh, no. I can't think of any other solution for listening to canary singing. I can recognize the voice of a real canary a mile away. Of course! Sam, you're Susie, where are you? Time to go! Lend me your costume, Susie. I've got an idea that will help us stall for time. Well, well, Susie. You seem to be in fine shape for the contest. In fact, it looks like you've put on some weight. I just hope you still fit into your cage. <laughs> go on, hop in. Oh, Susie, it's no time to play. It's time to Coast go! Coast is clear. Get back here! <laughs> Susie! Ouch! Come on, Alvarez, hurry up! Even though the contest won't start without us, that's no reason to show up late. <laughs> All right, Susie, you're on. A half a tone higher, Susie. There. Perfect. Come, come now. No reason to get stage fright like that, Susie. Everything's going to be just fine. Honey, I'm leaving. Good luck. Yay, where's your genie? Even with a canary costume, she couldn't have flown away, could she? Oh, no, your genie. And welcome to the International Canary Singing Contest. How about a big round of applause for Hubert, our first contestant? <laughs> what? I'll cut off my left ear if that bird is a canary. He's a robin at best. And our first contestant has been disqualified after only two and 57 one hundredth of a second. Our jury president has wasted no time in letting us know that he will be inflexible when it comes to cheating. 
We're goners! Eugenie doesn't stand a chance! And now for our second contestant, Myrtle! What a joke. That song was pre-recorded. Incredible! Myrtle has just been disqualified. Will Susie, our third canary, have more luck than our first two contestants? I can't watch this. Susie, begin. The jury is getting impatient. So cool, isn't it? If she doesn't win the contest with that... I can tell you that's no canary, but... What in the world is this bizarre specimen? Fly away, Eugene! Uh -huh. Quick! He's going to discover your disguise! Very impressive. This majestic winged creature appears to be a distant cousin of the Sumatra Tam Tam bird. Good heavens, honey! Why the long face? What happened? Susie's not a real canary. She's an exotic bird. A distant cousin of the Chickatoomy Tam Tam bird, or something like that. And it's strictly forbidden to keep such exotic birds in captivity. Honey, do you realize that all this time we've been breaking the law? Shouldn't you call the vet just to be 100% sure about this? Susie, go sing into the phone to make the vet think that you're a real canary. It's our only chance! Susie's not a real canary. What in the world is this all about? Well, that's what Mr. Snobby knows, the jury president said, and... Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be! Susie just asked you if the coffee's ready in Dolphin! Can you believe that? I don't know what kind of nonsense is going on in your house, but allow me to say without the hint of a doubt that if that is indeed Susie singing, she is 100% canary. And now, if you will excuse me, I am very busy. Right, now where was I? Well, there you go, honey. Mr. Snobby Nose was mistaken. It's, uh, human, you know? Not bad, huh? I have to agree, they're pretty good. And it's all thanks to me. Well, you should have brought that canary instead. He would have won the contest. He's singing the Trombado Canary Food in C major to perfection. I swear it's the same canary. But I just don't understand. He started singing like my rabbit. Must have been stage fright or something. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. bark worth a hoot after all this time. How ridiculous is that? Greasy apple seed? See that, Wash? It's a present for us. Uh, no, wrong address. It's the house just next door. Oh, I'm sure there was a box full of kibble and Gracie will never share them with us. Uh, Sam, humans don't eat kibble. Humans maybe not, but kids do. They eat them for breakfast with milk. I saw it on TV. Sam, I'll bet you a whole roasted chicken that's not kibble. It wasn't kibble. And to think that I just lost a roasted chicken. Boy, this day is off to a bad start. 
no, Sam. Now that Alfie and Gracie have a tablet, they're going to spend all their time on it. Meaning, they'll leave us alone. <laughs> Animal. Hamsterus stupidicus. Health. Good. Intelligence. Very limited. Wow! Did you see that, Alfie? With this hair test, I'm going to be able to find out everything about all the animals in the neighborhood. <laughs> it's true, huh? Vincent isn't very sharp. Right, Wash? Wash? Come on! We'll do a test on Fat Cat. Where do you see a fat cat? That's you, Sam. Run! <laughs> Come here, kitty cat! Come here! Cats know how to climb trees, and I am a real cat! You are absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. If Gracie and Alfie run their test on us, our goose is cooked. Goose? You mean we'll get fried goose? <sighs> no, Sam. It's just an expression. We're the geese. That hair test will know that the hair from our costumes is fake, and Alfie and Gracie will unmask us. Oh, that's no fun. What are we going to do inside? The greatest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Sam! Hey, move, Sam! We can't see anything! Sorry, but I really, really have to go eat something. Hey, look! Now the screen is super clean! But I'm starving! absolutely forbidden from going outside until further notice. Unless, of course, it's in order to save a roasted chicken in distress. Ta-da! Welcome back, kitty. <laughs> Sam, check it out. It looks like Vic dressed as a granny. <laughs> Sam? Sammy? Oh. <laughs> Error, unknown species. Error, unknown Maybe species. Maybe it's a species that hasn't been discovered yet. You will be put in touch with a specialist. Please hold the line. <laughs> it's irresistible, isn't it? <laughs> Can you please come? We've discovered an unknown species of an animal thanks to our hair test. Oh, I not a unicorn. Listen, I don't have time for childish behavior. I told you, teaming up with that toy company was a stupid idea. Unknown species. Yeah. Unknown species. Just think about it, Vladimir. This is a chance of a lifetime for you to win the Nobel Prize for veterinarians. Oh, come now. You can't be serious, Velma. What if this species is dangerous? But just imagine a new species carrying your name, the Vladimirius Quadrupedus Rex. You'll be famous throughout the world. Go on, Vladimir. This is your chance to prove your genius. Maintain the specimen in captivity. I'm on my way. <laughs> Sam's been captured. The veterinarian is on his way to examine him. Ah, Sam's going to be sent back to the forest? Not if we work as a team. I've got an unbeatable plan. You stall the vet while I go ask a favor from Vic. Something she'll never be able to refuse. No. Oh, <laughs> you're joking. Why? I thought that... No <laughs> means no. But 
but I just need a few of your hairs to replace those of Sam's for the hair test to make the vet believe Sam's a real cat. Sorry, I just hate it when my hair gets pulled out. Forget it. Find yourself another plan. But I don't have another plan. Do you have any ideas? Quirky Genie, use your super jumping rabbit power! Is that dog on crazy or what? That's quite enough, Vladimir. Stop behaving like a child! You're being ridiculous! I assure you, Velma, this door has a bad case of the flu. Do you think the vet has given up? For sure! We're way too strong for him. Maybe he'll never ever dare to go outside again. Gracie, what do you do with an unknown animal species? Well, you put them on them, and then you open them up to see what they're made of inside. Hey, Sam, Vic told me that humans just can't resist a cat that purrs, and then the cat can do whatever it wants. Do you know how to purr? You're joking, I hope. That's my specialty. Purr! Purr! Huh? Two one-way signs? This city has gone completely mad. We did it! He stopped! You made it! Yeah! It may be one way the wrong way going forward, but not that way. <laughs> If the hair test recognizes your meow, you'll be identified as a cat. Meow! Meow! Unknown and aggressive oh. roar. Unidentified and dangerous species. Reinforced security required. Victoria! 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 Do you know if Wash's unbeatable plan worked? Yes. <sighs> no. I said yes, meaning that yes, I know that Wash's unbeatable plan did not work. Did you seriously think huh? I was going to tear out my hair to make him happy? But then the veterinarian is going to realize that Sam is not a real cat. And he'll want to run the test on us, too. And we'll all be sent back to the forest. OK, all right, I'll help you. But there is no way you're pulling one single hair out of me, OK? Mm-hmm. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Coming! Don't worry, Sam. I'm gonna find a solution. All we have to do is, uh... Here, put this in the hair test. Vic, you... you... you pulled out your hair for Sam? Are you nuts? But that's the Livingstone's cat! It's not a cat! Look at the hair! Results. Unknown, unclassified species of feline, humanoid, lupus canny, reptili. Error, huh? error, error. Uh, uh. <sighs> Whose idea was to invent such a silly toy? Nothing compared to the expert opinion of an expert. My conclusion is definitive. This poor beast is nothing but an ordinary cat that you have traumatized. Oh, but don't worry, he'll get over it. This game really stinks. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, Vic. Being a cat myself, I know how difficult it must have been for you to tear out some of your hair for... I didn't tear out any hair. I got them out of the vacuum cleaner. But it seems there was a wide variety of hair in there. Not bad. Which just means that maybe you and I should collaborate more often, Vic. Only in your dreams, Wash. Error. Unknown species. Unknown species. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. 
but the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. <laughs> I was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on, tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink! Do you ever think to wash your mouth out of his mouth fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished cat nap to complete. Ah. Whoa, whoa. Ah. What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. No? What are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo, <laughs> satisfied now? A cut! Ha 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 ha! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> Duh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. 
Okay, girls, that's enough. The living stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! <laughs> hey, my costume! Where is it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it! to your legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no, why? Hmm? Oh no, the Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez. Alvarez? Yes. I've got to talk to Victoria, it's urgent. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, oh. Huh, that wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. What if it contaminates us? We'll start barking too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, Animal Pal. Alvarez is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice! We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> Wala -la -la -la! the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. But I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! 
Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. Ah! <laughs> is that me? I, I don't believe it. It's me, but I'm me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! <laughs> it's my costume. Oh, with this suit, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Whoa! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I won at the Cat vs. Cat Contest, a tournament that takes place the first day of spring every year. Hey, what a coincidence! Today is the first day of spring! I get it. You're practicing with your ball for the tournament! <laughs> no way! Never! Do you hear me? I will never participate in that contest ever again. And I never want to hear another word about it again either. Because you lost. Lost? And that! That's what? A loser's trophy, I suppose? I won it in a grueling fight to the bitter end. Whoa! Hey, can we play with your ball? Not even in your dreams. You put one paw on it, or even so much as look at it, and I'll make sure you get a one-way ticket to the darkest corner of the darkest forest in the world! Four, five, six, and bingo! I'm touching it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> can I touch it and look at it too? <laughs> you can look at it, but pause off. I promise. <laughs> oh. A table <gasps> We didn't do anything, Vic. We're totally innocent. <laughs> you should have seen the expression on your faces. Whoa, sis. What a great imitation. Whoa. It's, like, so pretty. Oh, there you are. <laughs> 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 ever finds out that her trophy has disappeared, her vengeance will know no limits. She'll tell the Living Stones that we're wild animals for sure. Ah! <laughs> Meow! Louder! Meow! Uh, are you feeling okay there, Nugget? Uh, no, 
time for small talk. You've got to rehearse if you want to be in top shape for Cat versus Cat. Oh, right. The tournament. Are you entering too, Washington? Nugget, must I remind you that Washington is not a cat? A cat? Say there, Fluffy. You know everything about everything. Where is the contest taking place? In no? that nearby alley. Hey, that's enough. Back to rehearsing, Nugget. <laughs> I know exactly how we're gonna get Victoria's ball back. We'll sign Sam up for the cat versus cat contest. What? Of course, with the strength of a wild boar, Sam will clobber all those whippy cats. He wins the tournament, we get the golden ball, replace Victoria's, and nobody's any the wiser. For sure, Sam's the strongest. Yeah, but Sam doesn't know how to fight. It doesn't matter. Just wait and see. Look at you! You look super impressive! Okay, let's test you out! Awesome! Didn't feel a thing! <laughs> What's all the ruckus? What are you supposed to be with that new costume? A pet hippo? <laughs> no, it's nothing. We're just playing. Uh, uh, Sam the trampoline! <laughs> Wanna play? I don't think so. <laughs> Losers. Phew! All you have to do, Sam, is stay in the ring, not move, and wait until your opponent tires out. Let's go to the tournament! I say, who's the strongest? The awesomest, the terribleest of all cats in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Who is gonna turn his opponents into mushy cat food? No one even dares step into the ring. You're the winner! <laughs> He's such a wimp, he won't even make it past the first round. Just do like I told you to. Take the blows and don't budge, okay? Yeah, well, I couldn't budge even if I wanted to. Make room for the ref. I'd like to remind you of the rules for the cat versus cat contest. You each take turns fighting, and it is strictly forbidden to touch your opponent. Yeah! Quiet! The first one who makes a noise is out of here. And don't forget, I know each and all of your little secrets. All right then, like last year, the winner is the one who makes the most intimidating meow. Oh no! It's a meowing duel, not a boxing match? We're goners! Sam can't meow to save his life. And the first meow goes to... Scrawny! 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 Uh-oh, looks like Scrawny is suffering from a handicap that all you cats know only too well. A major hairball crisis. Maddox! And the winner of the first round by default is Sam. Yeah! We won! The golden ball is all ours! Yeah! That was only the first round. Besides, we were lucky. Sam cannot meow. Yeah! Oh no! Sam doesn't stand a chance! Try and do like me. Meow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna concentrate on your meowing. Repeat after me. Meow. <laughs> oh, sorry. I mean, seriously, it's not that difficult to do. <laughs> Now that's what we need. Did you hear that, Sam? Whoa! If only Susie could take Sam's place in the tournament. <gasps> Why, of course! Susie, do you read me? Ready? Testing, testing. One, two, one, two. I'm ready. <laughs> With a meow like that, we're going to win that golden ball hands down. I mean, really, Nugget, is this a good time for you to be eating? The tournament isn't over yet. I need a protein booster if I'm going to win the cat versus cat final. Okay, true, I'm battling that loser Sam in the final, but I'm going to walk all over him. Huh? Sam? In the cat versus cat tournament? What in the world is going on here? Sorry, were you 
you trying to say something? <laughs> it's not working! Hey, Susie, what's going on in there? It's not my fault! Sam closes his mouth every time I meow! You want Susie to meow, paw on chest, okay? Get it over with and give up, why don't you? <laughs> Team that I coached with my brilliant strategy. Yeah! For the final, I only got one thing to say. Sam, just keep doing what you've been doing. Don't change anything. Susie, really let go! Be generous with your voice. Go for the biggest meow ever! Huh? The for the last round of Cat vs. Cat or the uh -huh. We're gonna win for sure! <laughs> Everything's going to go great. There's no way you can lose against that fat potato brain, Sam. And Sam opens the battle. Sam! 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 I get it. You want me to start, is that it? So that you'll get the last meow? Sure, why not? Time out! Time out! Seconds timeout. We got a major problem. Susie has lost her voice. She can't me out. What are we gonna do, Wash? Victoria is never gonna forgive us. Where's my golden ball? Hey, Victoria, can't you see that we're in the middle of the final that I'm about to win? <laughs> uh, let me explain. You see, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Incredible! For the second consecutive year, Victoria has won the Cat vs. Cat Contest! <laughs> big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! Big, big Victoria! That was one close call, guys. Victoria, <laughs> really, it's uh, not at all what you think, believe me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 